Hey everyone, I'm James. I'm a program manager on the developer community team here at Microsoft and a .NET MAUI developer myself. Today, I wanna to talk about Xamarin Essentials and how it's actually included in the box with .NET MAUI and exactly what Xamarin Essentials is if you're new to .NET MAUI, which is a way to access cross-platform APIs all directly from a single API. There's a lot of things new also with .NET MAUI, so let's get into it. The first thing you need to know is that .NET MAUI is built on top of iOS and Android for .NET, Mac Catalyst for .NET, and of course, WinUI 3 and the Windows App SDK for Windows. Now, the great thing here is that you have access to all of the .NET APIs, but also the native APIs on each platform too from C Sharp. So things like MapKit, SiriKit, ARKit, CoreML, and more. And the same thing's true for Android. You have access to those APIs directly in C-sharp. And of course, you can go ahead and access the .NET APIs to build out shared cross-platform code. Now, these APIs are specific to the iOS, Android, Mac, or Windows platforms. However, there are many APIs that are the same across the different platforms. And that's where the Xamarin Essentials library came from. It has been around for many, many years, and the idea was that, hey, there are tons of APIs that are common across the platforms. What if we created an abstraction on top of those and gave developers a single API to learn to access some of those native features? So things like clipboard, geolocation, compass, text-to-speech, screen locking, connectivity, and so much more. Now, Xamarin Essentials has been around for a long time as a NuGet package for Xamarin iOS, Xamarin Android, Xamarin Mac, UWP, and of course, Xamarin Forms projects. If you're new to .NET MAUI, you might be wondering, well, how do I access those APIs? Or maybe you're migrating your Xamarin Forms app to .NET MAUI, and you're asking yourself the same thing. Do I still need the Xamarin Essentials NuGet package? And the answer is no, because all of the Xamarin Essential APIs are included in the box of .NET MAUI. Automatically, everything is configured for you and everything is there, no NuGet required. And all of the APIs are available and have been updated. In fact, there's a lot new with .NET MAUI and these APIs. There's first and foremost, no additional setup required. So you don't need to worry about setting up different permissions or different initialization. It's handled for you automatically by .NET MAUI. There are some new namespaces. For Xamarin Essentials, there was a single namespace and that uh, was good, but also had some downsides. Now, based on the context of what you're doing with these APIs, there's a namespace that's there for it. It has been updated to the latest OS requirements. This is important for different permissions and some new APIs, and .MAUI takes advantage of all of these new features. There's also interfaces for all of these APIs. This is actually a top requested feature that enables you now to do dependency injection uh, automatically. I'll put a link to one of my videos talking about dependency injection with .NET MAUI, but it will automatically handle constructor injection and everything automatically. So if you are writing unit tests, now things are extremely mockable. And finally, there's new documentation, of course, that walks you through everything you need to know, and it's all right here on Microsoft Learn. I'll of course, put links to this documentation down in the show notes below. So what are those new namespaces? Well, there's a bunch of them in the Microsoft.Maui namespace. So application model, communication, devices, media, data transfer storage, and a bunch more. These are all documented based on what you want to do. What I like to do is go to the .NET Maui documenta documentation, type in the little filter box, what I wanna do, like connectivity or phone or SMS, and just go to the documentation. That overview page that I talked about earlier also gives you a full breakdown of everything you need to know about every single API built into .NET MAUI that's in there. So here's an example of ge using geolocation. You can use geolocation.default just like you used to in Xamarin Essentials, or you can go ahead and register it with the dependency injection service. You can add a singleton or a transient based on your use case and the API. Most of the time you're gonna be adding a singleton as these APIs are static. You can go ahead and use like iGeolocation and register the default, or you can have it be created on demand for you. That second route, that or in there is probably the recommended pattern. And then you can inject that service into your constructor or use it anywhere else inside your application. So it's nice and easy to use. And there's APIs and interfaces for every single thing built into what was Xamarin Essentials, now built directly into .NET MAUI. 
Now, what if you're not building your application with .NET MAUI and you're just building an iOS and Android app with .NET or you're a library creator? How do I use those essential APIs without .NET MAUI? Well, the first thing is that you want to install the .NET workload for .NET MAUI. So you can do .NET workload install MAUI. Now, this will ensure that all of the .NET MAUI bits are there, but of course, you're probably going to have that already if you're doing iOS or Android or even library creation. The second part is that there's this new use MAUI essentials um, um, project setting that you can use. You can use this in any library. So if you have this in another .NET uh, 6 or .NET 7 or .NET 8 library, you can add this use, use MAUI essentials to true, and that will automatically light up those APIs for you. Of course, if you're migrating from Xamarin iOS or Android, you may want to also use this too, and you want to remove the Xamarin Essentials NuGet package. I wrote a whole blog post about migrating those types of applications and libraries. And then finally, you want to make sure that you initialize on each platform. So for example, if you are doing iOS or Android without .MAUI, you, know, you need to use that initialization code, and I'll put links to the documentation below for everything you need to know. Well, there you have it. Xamarin Essentials is now included and optimized and upgraded inside of .NET MAUI. To learn more, check out all of the documentation in the show notes below. And of course, go to .NET forward slash MAUI to learn more about building beautiful native cross-platform apps with .NET MAUI for iOS, Android, Mac, and Windows. Thanks for watching.